Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. The farmers of Kailali and Kanchanpur who have been suffering losses in agriculture produced due to the winter rains have been affected by the lockdown and unseasonal rains. The Asla fish have recently stopped appearing in the famous rivers. Ward 3 of Kapilbastu Shivraj municipality has launched a gift program to provide encouragement to the farmers. And much more. Let us now continue the program with the affairs of the damage due to rain. Rain is very good for agriculture. We all know this. However, due to climate change, the patterns of rains in the recent years have been abnormal. When there is a requirement, there is no rain, and when there is no requirement, there is flood. This has damaged the crops and crop yield. This is a very difficult time for the human race. We are fighting to survive a pandemic, and after that, we will continue to fight changing climate to make it optimum for us. Farmers of Kailali and Kanchanpur who have been suffering losses in agriculture produced due to the winter rains have been affected by the lockdown and unseasonal rains. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Farmers in both the districts have suffered a loss of 32 crore this year in pulses, bananas and vegetables. According to the Agriculture Knowledge Center, Mahendra Nagar, which looks after Kailali and Kanchanpur districts, farmers have lost 30 crore in pulses imported in Fagun and Chait alone. Similarly, there have been loss through bananas and vegetables of 2.5 crore in both the districts. Due to incessant rains in winter, pulses production have declined the most. Ram Chandra Bhatt, head of the Agriculture Knowledge Center, Mahendra Nagar, said that there was loss of 20% in Mashuro lentil. Pulses were cultivated in 20,000 hectares in Kailali and 5,000 hectares in Kanchanpur. This year, 5,000 tons less pulses were produced than last year, which has directly affected the farmers. Farmers who have been forced to bear the loss of agriculture produced since the winter have been further affected by downpour and heavy rain. Banana farmers in Kailali and Kanchanpur have suffered a loss of 1.5 crore due to lockdown. According to the Knowledge Center bananas are being cultivated in an area of 1,000 hectares in Kailali and 500 hectares in Kanchanpur. After the news report on damage due to rain, let us now talk about the affairs of gift program. It is in the nature of human beings to want award and recognition. This motivates us to contribute more for the nation and the world. The farming community till now had only crops as reward. Now there has been a little change. The farmers are being awarded. This kind of motivation is required for all sectors of development. We're all contributors to the supremacy of the human race. Each one of us are the jewel of the crown of creation emitting our own special glow. War 3 of Kapilbastu Shivraj municipality has launched a gift program to provide encouragement to the farmers. Let us look at this report for a little while. War chairman Deklal Sapkuta said that 40% of the farmers and 60% of the wards will be invested in the award program. Irrigation materials and lawn mowers have been distributed to 47 farmers of the ward at a cost of 500,000 rupees allocated by the ward in the current fiscal year. The materials have been distributed to those who reached the ward office on Sunday, saying that most of the citizens of the ward are engaged in agriculture. The real farmers got the materials, said ward chairman Sapkota. Speaking on the occasion, Nitra Raj Adhikari, chief of Shivraj municipality, said that the municipality has also given priority to the farmers. Ward Chairperson Sabkota informed that 27 lawn mowers, 5 motor for pumping water and 5 pump sets have been distributed. 
After the report on gift program, let us now talk about the affairs of the budget for Kanali. The Nepali government continues to work on the financial planning for the coming year. Like previous years, the budget has been allocated. The national budget had some protests. The next news report is about the Karnali state budget. The weaknesses in budget will be revealed with time. The Karnali state government has allocated more than 33 arba, 74 crore for the coming year. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The Karnali state government has allocated more than 33 arba, 74 crore for the coming year. Minister for Economic Affairs and Planning Prakash Jwala presented the budget for the coming year with annual revenue and expenditure estimates of 12th meeting of the 6th session of the State Assembly. As per the budget presented on Monday, the budget of the state government for the coming fiscal year 2077-78 has been presented at 33 arba 74 crore 13 lakh 53 thousand. Accordingly, 19 arba 6 crore 91 lakh 21 thousand has been allocated for capital 11 arba 67 crore 57 lakh 32 thousand for current account and 2 arba 99 crore 65 lakh for financial transfer under the allocated current expenditure 87 crore 41 lakh is for the prevention control and treatment of covid 19 2 arba 58 crore 26 lakh for employment and other works and administrative expenditure is 8 arba 51 crore 90 lakh 32,000 said Minister Jwala. Agami Arthik Vashon Prastav Gariya Ka Karikam Tatha Aizana Karanin Garna Ru 33 arba 74 crore 13 lakh 33 hazar biniyozan gare ka chho. Kool biniyozan madde Pujigat Kharcha Ru 19 arba 6 crore 91 lakh 21,000 अर्थात् संतावना प्रतिशत सालों खर्चरु 11 अरब 60 करोड़ संतावना लाख 32,000 अर्थात् 35 प्रतिशत रह वित्तीय हस्तांतरण हस्तांतरण तरफ रु 2 अरब 19 करोड़ 50 लाख अर्थात् 9 प्रतिशत बिनियोजन करेगा the state government has stated that it has brought in a budget focusing in health, agriculture production and employment to address the potential pandemic caused by the coronavirus, which has spread as global pandemic. After the news report, let us now look at the affairs of the cardamom. I interviewed the president of Nepal Cardamom Federation a little over a month ago and he is confident about the high quality of Nepali large cardamom. However, in recent times, the Nepali cardamom has lost price in the market. This has been affecting the farmers and the traders alike. India is the biggest buyer of the Nepali goods including cardamom. Due to the lockdown, the export has been hampered at the border. Now the West Bengali government has not given permission to import the Nepali cardamom. This is really affecting the cardamom trade in Nepal. The cardamom exports, which were open after two and a half months, have stopped again. A total of 135 tons of cardamom loaded in a truck and sent to India was stopped at Gagarveta in Japa. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Cardamom exports, which were open after two and a half months, have stopped again. A total of 135 tons of cardamom loaded in a truck and sent to India was stopped at Kakarveta in Chapa. According to Sujit Bansal, central member of the Federation of Cardamom Entrepreneurs of Nepal, nine trucks of cardamom were exported to India after lockdown. Entrepreneurs have said that it has been stopped again since then, though the central Government of India did not stop it. The West Bengal government stopped it, it citing lockdown as the reason for stalling. According to Rajkumar Karki, central president of the Federation of Cardamom Entrepreneurs, efforts are being made to discuss the issue at the Indian Embassy in Nepal. Entrepreneurs have demanded to take cardamom in the means of transportation that includes food, construction materials, and vegetables from India. The loaded trucks are now in a hurry. However, the West Bengal government has not given permission. According to businessmen, the largest markets for cardamom from Nepal are Delhi and Kanpur in India. At present, cardamom kept in the warehouse of businessmen in Japa is being sent. They have not bought cardamom from the farmers. Entrepreneurs say that they are preparing to buy only after the sales of the cardamom in the warehouse.
After the news report on cardamom, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. To your viewers, let us now look at the affairs of Churi protection. Churi is the lifeline of Nepali South. Without protection of the Churi range, the Tarai will be suffering from drought. In Nepal, we have been celebrating the Churi Conservation Day by planting new trees. By transplanting trees, we can counter the lost balance in the climatic patterns in Tarai. This time, in the human history, it's very crucial as we are struggling with increased carbon emissions which directly influence the atmosphere. At the same time, we have less trees due to overfelling of trees. This has adverse effect on the climatic patterns of Nepal. President Churi Terai Madesh Conservation and Development Committee has completed tree planting program. Trees have been planted under the President Churi Terai Madesh Conservation program on the occasion of Chure Conservation Day. Let us look at this news report for a little while. President Chure Tarai Madish Conservation and Development Committee has completed the tree planting program. Trees have been planted under the President Chure Tarai Madish Conservation Program on the occasion of Chure Conservation Day. A tree planting program has been organized on the occasion of Chure Conservation Day at Gaushala Brindaban in Morang's Sundar Haranja Municipality 5, which is important in terms of religious and tourist area. Din Bandhu Shastri founder pattern of Radhya Sham Shiva Samiti Rindavan Gaushala said that 32 different species of saplings have been planted in the area of 2.2 hectares. the area near Burikola has been affected by the floods and the possibility of deforestation is increasing. The tree planting program will make good use of the vacant land. President Churi Tarai Madish Conservation and Development Committee Program Implementation Unit Salakpur Morang Chief Vim Kalikote informed on the matter. Purva ka saatota jilla japa chure chure bhitra parne chure le chhoya ka saatota jilla japa ilam morang sunsari sira saptari udaypur yo saatota jilla ma chure samrachan ka bibhinna karyakram ru sanchalan garde aayeko cha chure ko upallo tat up stream ma khas gari pohiro samrachan galchi samrachan nadi katan niyantran Pokhari Nirmar, Bricharopana, Paria Parad and Parvana Lagatka Bivina, Samra Chan Muki Karakaram Ru Santalan Gariagotha, Ra Tolo Totma, Banale, you Ibe Banda Toltira Bono, Border Summer, Bivina Paragarka, Simsar, Samra Chan, Krishiban Pranali Pravardan, Lagatka, Pokhari Samra Chan, Taltalaya Samra Chan, Lagatka Karakaramaru, Santalan Garde, Iregotha. Due to the high population pressure, the forest area is very small. The Inter-Green Belt program can also play an important role in balancing forests with the pressure of population and population density. To manage and protect it and to plant trees according to the concept of scientific forest will not only enhance the natural beauty of Gaushala old age forest, but will also help to prevent the danger of human habitation and deforestation. After the news report on Chure conservation, let us now look at the report on endangered fish. Fish is believed to have been fed to man by the hand of God. It is very touching to know that eating fish actually increases life expectancy. It is a great gesture from the divine in showing love for the crown of creation. We are all free to choose what we eat according to our health and taste. Ashala, fish is Nepali favorite. This fish is slowly disappearing 
due to different pollution of water and overfishing. The Asla fish have recently stopped appearing in the famous rivers. Let us look at this news report for a little while. According to the local fishermen, most of the rivers in the district have fish which are very tasty and endangered. However, these fish have stopped to appear. Earlier, they used to be plenty in the river and customers used to take it from the river. But now such fish are disappearing, they said. Fishermen are complaining that their profession is in crisis as endangered fish are not in the river and other fish are also declining. The Bakarki, a local who has been fishing in the Chamgat River for over 30 years, said that he is now preparing to change his profession after giving up fishing. In the last few months, the number of people fishing in most of the rivers in the district, including the Chamgat River, has increased. Although the local government has prepared water master plan and banned the illegal killing of river fish, it has not been able to stop the poisoning and electrification. Meanwhile, Vairavi and Mahabu municipalities have mobilized the police and banned the use of poison and electricity in Chamgat River in the area. But the failure to stop such activities in the lockdown has had a direct impact on endangered fish and the fishermen. After the news report on Ashla fish, let us now look at the affairs of fertilizer. Nepal does not have chemical plant for fertilizer. Nepali agriculture has been organic for most of the modern commercial agriculture scenario. In recent times, the Nepali farmers had opted for chemical fertilizer due to high demand for the crop yield. Though the Nepali government is singing the song of organic movement, the actual reality is different. The commercial farmers do use chemical fertilizer. Right now, the farmers are really feeling awkward that there is no fertilizer at the time of good rain. There is lack of fertilizer for farmers who have planted paddy in time after the rain since just. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Farmers engaged in farming are worried due to lack of fertilizer despite timely rain. Savitri Podel of Madhavliya in Tilota of Rupandehi has started transplanting amidst shortage of manure. Other farmers like her who planted paddy in the first week of Jesta due to timely rain are now busy in planting. Similarly, Ramu Yadav of Wom Satya also said that they are planting paddy even though they have not received any fertilizer. Most of the farmers are saying that they are planting even though there is lack of fertilizer due to fear of rain. There is shortage of chemical fertilizer in Kapilbastu district as well. Agriculture Knowledge Center Kapilbastu has stated that it has not been able to distribute the sale due to shortage of fertilizer. At present, there are only 46 tons of DAP fertilizer and 10 tons of urea fertilizer in Kapilbastu, according to Gyan Kendra. Due to the shortage of manure, farmers visit the agriculture office and local levels on a daily basis. The locals of Dunikol of Wanganga municipality have been requesting the ward office to provide manure to the municipality and the parliamentarian as well. The Agriculture Development Office says that the necessary materials for agriculture, including manure, should be brought from India, but it could not be brought due to lockdown. After the news report on fertilizer, let us now talk about the fears of the paddy seeds. Right now, some farmers are finding difficulty in obtaining paddy seeds due to lockdown. This is time for paddy transplantation. The rain this year has been good for paddy. However, the transportation of seeds and fertilizer is difficult and farmers are at loss. Paddy is the most important crop of Nepal. All Nepalese prefer to eat rice as their main diet. The farmers of state too are worried as they have not received seed even though it is time for transplanting. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The farmers are frustrated by the extreme shortage of seeds needed before planting rice amid the corona pandemic. Lack of manure has made them look like they have sprinkled salt on their wounds. Birendra Mandal of Bardibash 2 in Mahotari has complained that he did not get fertilizer even after the paddy seeds were ready. He informed that even 
the maize planted on a bigger of land was eaten by the insects. Farmers of the area have also been affected due to non-availability of fertilizer while planting paddy. He said that the government has not been able to provide manure in time. In previous years, farmers used to cultivate by bringing manure from the Indian market near the border. But this year, due to the corona pandemic, the border has been sealed and farmers have not been able to smuggle manure. Similarly, Indra Fandari of Bardivashwan is also facing shortage of fertilizer to cultivate 12 kata of land due to lockdown. Farmers across the country like them who are engaged in farming are struggling due to lack of DAP fertilizer to be applied before planting paddy. After the report on paddy seeds, let us now talk about the affairs of combined cultivation of land. Nepali agriculture is taking pace. The people are wanting more and more organized way of farming. Right now, the Nepali government has made arrangement for combined or united cultivation of land. This has created new type of hope and inspiration among the new youths. We know without cultivation of land, we have no other way of survival. To improve agriculture means to improve the health of the people. Let us now look at this last news report of the day for a little while. The work of United Land has been completed in the Goting field of Putali Bazaar with the objective of raising the economic level of the farmers by increasing productivity through mechanization and commercialization in agriculture. It is said that the farmers have become more attracted towards the Gandaki state government after taking the policy of encouraging land consolidation and providing assistance for irrigation technology in improved seas in such lands. The 310 Robanese field of 120 farmers owned by Gothing in Putali Bajar Municipality 4 have been cordoned off. The first cultivation is scheduled to start on 15th Ashar. The chief minister has also been invited to the state level Paddy Day. War Chairman Om Karka informed that the process of the program has been started since last year after the local farmers agreed to make united land cultivation by combining small and big fields. Chairman Karga said that the rules of producing three crops a year, not being allowed to build physical infrastructure other than for agriculture purposes for 10 years, collective farming for a minimum of five years, and those who have to sell are to accept the same condition have been implemented. Although the state government has provided $3 million for the project at the rate of 10000 per transplant, $6 million has been spent due to the geographical location, said Chairman Kartka. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basman. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. The farmers of Kailali and Kanchanpur who have been suffering losses in agriculture produced due to the winter rains have been affected by the lockdown and unseasonal rains. The Asla fish have recently stopped appearing in the famous rivers. Ward 3 of Kapilbastu Shivraj municipality has launched a gift program to provide encouragement to the farmers. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basit. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Kushan.